All right, everyone. It's been storming like crazy. No chance to get any footage of any fishing. Today, we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna show you how I effectively and safely cook trout for my dog here to enjoy. Stay tuned. You don't wanna miss this one. All right, so I've taken a few of my trout bodies out of my freezer, and these are trout that I have harvested in the past. I never bother filleting them because I find that wastes a little bit too much of the meat, especially on the size of trout that I'm getting, which are between 12 and 16 inches usually. So first things first, you wanna preheat your oven to about 450 degrees, and you wanna get yourself some type of metal baking sheet. I've got like a pie tin here, and then some aluminum foil. Now what you wanna do is you wanna wrap these trout up in this foil, Close it up, something like that. You're gonna place that in your sheet. Now don't add any seasoning or garlic or butter, anything like that. Obviously that's not what you want your dog to be consuming. But the reason you wrap these trout up in the foil is that will allow the juices to cook within itself and not evaporate or run all over your tin. And it'll keep the fish from being dry and it will enable you to peel them off the bones when you're done in the oven a lot easier. I only know this from a little bit of personal experience. So anyways, stick around. We'll pull these guys out of the oven in about 20 to 25 minutes, and I'll show you the next step. All right, so the trout is all done. It took about 25 minutes since it was still frozen. I'm going to pull the meat off the bone and remove the skin. And then I will fast forward to the next important step, but I need both hands to do this, so bear with me. All right, so I've got some of the meat pulled off the bone here and the skin removed. And the last step is very important. What you're gonna wanna do is take a big chef's knife and you're going to want to cut in a tic-tac-toe pattern multiple times both ways and that way any remaining small pin bones that might still be in there are diced up into small few millimeter sections that your dog can easily digest and it won't risk puncturing any type of intestines or the GI tract or anything like that. So this last step is super important. Now we'll skip over to watching the puppy chow down. Good girl. So anyways, dogs really love uh, the taste of cooked trout um, and it's really good for them. And as you can see, I've mixed a little bit of her kibble in with it. And she absolutely loves this stuff, guys. You can keep eating, babe. Anyways, all the fish you guys catch out in the bush you can either enjoy yourselves or your furry pals here can enjoy it with you. And it's definitely a good uh, way to feel proud of your harvest, especially when you see your uh, puppies enjoying it this much. I'm sorry I didn't have the ability to go out and film. It's been so stormy. Um, there was just no way I was able to film without my iPhone being completely ruined. Um, so instead of a fishing video, I figured this was just a little off topic thing that you guys might like. So till next time, take it easy guys. Good girl, good girl.